The Great Book of Families by Mary Hoffman, pictures by Ross Asquith. Once upon a time, most families in books look, looked like this. One daddy, one mommy, one little boy, one little girl, one dog, and one cat. But in real life, families come in all sorts of shapes and sizes. In this book, are a lot of families living in different ways. Perhaps there is one that looks like yours. Families. Lots of children live with their mommy and daddy, but lots of others live with just their daddy or just their mommy. Some live with their grandma and grandpa. Some children have two mommies or two daddies, and some are adopted or live with foster families. Who is in your family? Some people have lots of brothers and sisters and uncles and aunties and cousins and grandmas and grandpas and even great grandmas and great grandpas. But some people have really small families. You can be a family with just two people. Daddy and me, my family. Homes. People live in all sorts of homes. Some small families live in big houses and some big families live in tiny apartments and some people can't find anywhere to live. School. Most children go to school, but some are homeschooled and some just won't go to school. But I've been to school already. I went yesterday. That little girl doesn't want to go to school. And others are just too young to go to school. Jobs. In some families, everyone has a job. In others, only one person goes to work. Some parents work from home and some can't get a job at all. Holidays. Some families go on exotic vacations and some stay closer to home. Some visit family in other countries. You don't need to pack everything while you're going on a holiday. And others go on day trips. Not all families can afford a vacation, but most people get some time off from work. Even a weekend at home can be a little vacation. Food. Some moms or dads are great cooks. Hmm. Is mommy or daddy the best cook? Or both can cook really well? Hmm. Who's your favorite cook? Others prefer to buy ready-made meals. Most families get their food from shops or markets, but some people grow their own. I'm sure most of us have tiny gardens on our backyards. Clothes. Some children get new clothes. Others have hand-me-downs or their clothes came from thrift stores. Some families dress up for special occasions, but some like to wear jeans all the time, and some dress any way they please. Look at this one with the underwear on his head. <laughs> pets. Some people believe their pets are members of the family, and some pets think they are very, very important family members. Some people even look like they are pets. Uh oh. Some families can't have pets, but it doesn't stop them from dreaming. And there are ways that every family can have a pet of some sort. Birthdays are fun, but some families make more fuss about them than others. And then there is Christmas. Diwali, Eid, 
honika weddings christenings kuwanza bar and bat mitzvahs chinese new year whatever you celebrate in your family there are usually some special traditions hobbies in some families everyone has some hobby in others everyone likes doing different things transportation some families walk everywhere to the store to school to the doctor others get around in big cars or bicycles or riding something else hmm, look at this to riding a horsey feelings in some families everyone shares their feelings other people are more shy or perhaps they just like to keep their feelings to themselves sometimes not everyone in the family feels the same way about things and feelings change quickly have you tried to make a family tree sometimes you don't have to go back far to find bits of family who have come from other countries and if your mom or dad lives with a new partner you might have to make a whole new set of branches so families can be big small happy sad rich poor loud quiet mad good tempered worried or happy go lucky most families are all these things some of the time what's yours like today the end